Just a little bit. Right. White dwarfs are a type of dead star. And the way it's explained to me is that the the red dwarf expands into a red giant and then it loses cohesion and all, all, all the all the outer layers of hot plasma gas are released because it can't hold on to no more it just like and you end up with these nebula then what's left in the centre of it is what's left in the centre of it which it turns into like a, a solid object and it gradually gets cooler and cooler and cooler and the first thing that you get is a white dwarf and then as it cools down obviously it, it loses its luminosity and isn't white anymore so then it, it cools down even more but we've just had fusion going because it was a red dwarf and it went into a red joint so there was there was fusion going on so it was producing heavier and heavier elements all the time and then it condensed into a solid so what, what is it a solid ball of hydrogen a solid ball of lithium a solid ball of beryllium because these are all the elements that our suns are making, our, our stars making, or is it heavier elements, because obviously when fusion stops, all of a sudden there's a collapse, just like a supernova, very very similar to a supernova, it collapses from a certain size down to a small size really quickly, and the amount of neutrinos and other free subatomical particles in there, because fusion is going on, all condense at the same time. Ooh. So you've got to imagine that neutrons are going to be forced together. There's going to be a, a sort of fusion at the end, where it's going to be a, an element-making fusion instead of like a, a, a fusion. A, it's going to be an unsustained fusion reaction. But it's not fission because it doesn't blow up into a fission thing, does it? So it's like fission, but like it's like in between fission and fusion. And I, I predict that heavier elements are going to be in that a lot heavier elements stable and unstable of heavier elements and this happens all the time I mean there's, there's gamma ray bursts every single day that's supernova gamma ray bursts every single day and feeding black hole every single day that makes gamma ray bursts so you've got to imagine that well, supernova aren't as common as you know, white dwarfs because they're miles more popular. <laughs> We're like a normal kind of sun. Our sun's like a like a normal kind of sun. Most suns are going to end up like ours, or end up which will be a white dwarf. And then you've got to understand that you know if it's if there's a lot of carbon in there when it gets compressed like it does, there's going to be big diamonds happening, you know, massive, great big diamonds, like, you know, diamonds the size of the planet Earth are going to be created. So, yeah, that's, that's worth going and finding, isn't it, eh? well, the, the other thing that's going to be worth going to find in these um, cooling white dwarfs are going to be the, the heavy elements, like plutonium onwards, you know, element 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 120, 120, 130, 140, 150, you're going to be finding these kind of elements there. Stable and unstable isotopes of each one's. That's what I predict anyway, it just makes sense when you listen to the way the building blocks of life are put together and how things happen. That's going to happen. I don't know what to call this, I'm going to call it White Dwarf.